Hey guys, it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales, and today I'm doing my unboxing for 100 pounds of Thread Up Clothing, part two. All right, so if you guys have not seen my part one, please make sure you go back. I'll leave links up here somewhere throughout the video so you can go see it. But I have been buying thread up boxes for the last few months now because I haven't been going to the thrift stores with all the craziness going on. So this has been the way that I've been sourcing my clothing to sell online. Um, and I needed a way <laughs> to find clothing to sell. Um, so thread has been great. I've been getting men's boxes and women's boxes and all kinds of other different types of boxes. And all of a sudden they've come out with these humongous boxes. It's 100 pounds for $300. You can also get a 200 pound box for $500, um, but I just wasn't ready for that. I wanted to see what this one was first and whether I liked it before I took the big jump to get the bigger box. Um, the thing with ThreadUp though is you have to stalk the website. The rescue boxes come up for a few minutes and then they go back down. I will leave a link though in the description below so if you're interested in getting a rescue box, um, then you can certainly click that link. But again, just be aware that right now it's not available, but tomorrow it might be. So just keep looking if you can't find it. Um, also, if this is the first time joining me, thank you so much for spending the time with me today and watching my video please make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you like what you see all right so i am not going to dilly dally because yesterday's video took like 30 minutes to film so i thought i would just go ahead and jump into this one if you want all the details check out part one um, so you can get all the deal all right so let's go ahead and just jump on in <laughs> so yesterday um it worked out really well for me to do piles. I basically was like, what am I gonna resell? What do I have no clue about? And then there's some items that we ended up keeping out of the box as well. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, I have a 12 year old daughter as well as a four year old daughter. So my 12 year old actually kept a few of the things. I also was able to kept, keep a few things. I'm actually wearing the pants now, it does not match, so I'm sorry, but they're super comfortable. Um, so I figured if we can get some great outfits and they don't really resell for a lot of money, then we'll go ahead and keep them ourselves as well. Um, so that's another fun thing you can do if you're not a reseller is you can also get these things to buy for yourself or even to upcycle. That's a huge thing right now. So it's still a great and less expensive way to do it. So the boxes normally are super cute and they have the teal polka dots on them, but because they're so huge, you can see my other one over there. And <laughs> They came in two boxes, 50 pounds each. Um, but they did include really cute wrapping paper, which I absolutely love and I cannot pick it up. So... <laughs> So let's see here. So you got your cute little invoice here and it says, we love helping, send us a quick note. Thank you so much. There we go, so we'll hold on to that. All right, and I think it's funny because they just laid the tissue paper on top because it's just too big of a box to wrap. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna hold on to that. I use this for especially my Poshmark packages. I love to spruce those up a little bit, so it's perfect for that. All right, I see lots of colors, so I'm excited to just jump in here um, and see what we got. All right, so they've been, they wrap them in these huge burritos, I guess to help keep the wrinkles down and stuff, but it makes it hard to pull them out. So this looks like a cityscape dress of some sort. That's unique. This is by Emily and Finn. I also would love to hear comments below if these are brands that you're aware of. I'm still learning a lot about brands, especially higher end brands, um, because our area just doesn't carry those types of things. We don't have those types of shops. So recently by doing the thread boxes, I've learned a lot about different brands, especially the high end ones. So if I'm missing something, I'll do some research later, of course, um, but please leave it in the comments below if you know what they are. So that's different. I don't know, definitely not my style, but something I will research. All right, what else do we have here? Sarah and Spen or Sarah Spencer, just a nylon angora rabbit hair and lamb's wool blend sweater. So that is a nice soft fabric um, if it's a decent brand, but I have never heard of that before. So I don't know, that's really cute. That'd be cute on Lily. So I already see her eyeballs off camera here that she wants to try that on. <laughs> All right, let's see here. This is a green, oh, it's all over the place. Green button down shirt by Worthington. So nothing special about that, but it is cute. I might actually try that on. That'd be a cute little fall piece paired with some, some boots. So if that's my size, I might try that on myself. Uh, let's see here, pulling here from the top. Loft, all right, so not a high-end brand, but I personally do like Ann Taylor Loft. Um, I know it doesn't sell that well, um, but I still throw them up because I think they're really pretty. And this one's a science soft, nice dress, um, and I really do like it. It's in good condition. Looks like just a pure cotton dress there, so that's cute. Um, let's see, who I see a jersey. Oh, Patriots, brand new. So if we have a Super Bowl this year. They've been in the Super Bowl quite a few times in the past, so I will definitely get that pulled up. It is definitely a women's shirt. It's got some cool rhinestones on there, size small. I oh, will see. 
All right, I see a puffer of some sort here. It looks like a jacket. Blue with like a pink lining. Oh, Nautica. I don't know, does Nautica sell anymore? I don't find it a lot. It used to be a huge brand when I was growing up. Um, so I don't know if that sells much anymore, but that's really super cute. Um, I have a feeling that this box is gonna go to Lily because she's giving me eyeballs again. <laughs> she likes this jacket. Oh my gosh, I have to make some money. Um, I'll be happy if I make my money back, um, but also my time. So I'd like to make some profit on it to at least make up for the time. All right, some more jackets in here. Oh good, we're hitting the right season for these. Um, Ann Taylor, this is really cute. Oh, look at the cute little pea jacket. That's really cute. It's in a navy blue. Like I said, Ann Taylor. So I think I will definitely sell that. That's cute. All right, and then there's some sort of white jacket in here. Banana Republic. Oh, it's kind of heavy. That's cute, that's like a wool jacket. Now it does look like it needs to be cleaned a little bit. The inside is a little bit dirty there around like the neckline and stuff. Um, but I'm curious what this is made of. This is 90% wool, 10% nylon. So that's really nice though. Just gonna clean it up a little bit. All right. Let's see, looks like a pair of pants maybe. Brand new with tags, Harper. The tag is Francesca's. I think that's a mall brand. I'm not sure, but it's just a pair of flowy blue elastic waist pants. I don't know about that. That doesn't look like it would be too much in style, but we will always look things up. Okay, this is a cute shirt. Old Navy. Oh, it's a dress. Oh, that's cute. So Old Navy doesn't sell too well online, so I will try it on just for the sake of it. Um, but it almost looks like a cotton linen. Sorry, I'm curious. Let's see here, 60% linen, rayon. So yeah, so that's really cute, just a basic. It does have this cool like keyhole in the back. So I do like that. All right, next little bundle here. Ugh. Pair of jeans, Torrid, very happy about that. And they are a distressed look. So if you don't know about Torrid, you should. This is a plus size line, but it sells really well. So you see the Torrid there. Um, and they look like they're in good condition. I mean, to be distressed, which is kind of funny to say, um, but size 20 S. If you see anything that you like in these boxes, please leave a comment below, because I'll also try to get in touch with you, because um, I would much rather sell to my viewers <laughs> than online. Um, I see another new with tags. Um, this is Gap. Looks like a Interesting sports bra. Hmm, this is more like athleisure probably. It's not really functional, <laughs> but that's how that goes on there. But it is brand new. Let's see if it has a, the price is not on here. It is size small. It's really nice though. All right, so we'll get that over there. All right, ooh, brand new again. Ella Moss, it looks really nice though. I have a feeling maybe this is a nice shirt. Um, oh yeah, it is. I've never heard of this before, but the um, retail cost is $128 on that and it's brand new. That's really cute. So it's just a basic tank and in the back it has a lace detail, like a racer back lace detail. Super cute, okay. <laughs> All right, ooh, this might be, oh, no. Skull cashmere. Okay, that's new for me. It's probably cashmere and it has skull patterns on it. That's pretty to the point. <laughs> Let's see though, let's see if it's actually cashmere. 100% cashmere. So I have never heard of this brand before. Skull cashmere. That's pretty literal, but it's still really cute and it's cashmere, which will sell. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, this is cute. What is this? Calvin Klein, look how cute this is. I would have no place to wear this, but it's a really pretty dress and it has like these polka dot, I don't even know how to describe this. Do you see this, how big this is, like this A-line dress? This is really cute though. <laughs> if I saw somebody wearing this, I'd be like, that's super cute. But these are like overlays almost. I'm not even sure how they did this in the material, but that is really cool. It's almost like three-dimensional polka dots on there. Size 14, which is a great size. But again, I don't know where I would wear that, but that's really cute. All right, another tank top type thing. Lonnie's California. Yeah, I don't know about that. It does have that tie-dye look. Um, it's almost like a blue purplish color and like a crepey material. It's either a long tunic top, I guess, because it does come up on the sides. Um, so I don't know, it 
pick it up. All right, another pair of pants. What are these? Resin, R-E-S-I-N-E. -E. They look pretty designer though. I've never heard of the Catalyst Skinny. They're a unique color too. They're kind of like a, a gray wash, I guess. And then they naturally have like stains and paint on them. I mean, I think that is original to the pants. Otherwise somebody got really messy in these. But it's even along the back. So I really think that that is supposed to be the way that the pants are. But I don't know, let me know. Have you guys heard of that before, resin? But look how like detailed they've gotten inside with like the pants pockets. That's why I think maybe it's a nice brand. I don't know, okay, we will look that up. <laughs> all right, let's see here, all these fancy people. Oh, Zara, I do know about Zara. That's unique, it's a crop top with like the balloon sleeves. That's super different, but it's cute. Um, I do think it's new, it does have this little taggy thing in it, but it doesn't have the tag. So I might be able to list that as new without the tag. Um, but Zara does still sell really well for me, so that's cute. All right, maybe a dress here, or pants. Hollister pants. These are really in, I think, right now. Um, it's those um, like culotte types pants is what they call them, but these have the elastic and this pattern. Um, I've seen these a lot with those jumper pants suit thingies in this pattern. I had one in the other box that was similar to this, but this is just the pants, so I think that will sell well. I don't pick up Hollister typically unless it's unique. Okay, next bundle, let me get it untwisted here. Oh my, what is this? Okay, I don't see it yet for this. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, a sheer, this is heavy. This is like, I don't know, you see all that beading on there? What is this? All I see is made in India. That doesn't surprise me, this is definitely Indian. Oh man, what is this? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this is and I don't see any other tags. So I don't know, keywords you guys can help me with. This is super heavy. Okay, I'm not sure about that. That's different. Okay. <laughs> All right, another new with tags item. This is in the style. Never heard of that, but it kind of looks like something you would get um, in Stitch Fix or something, which I have just started doing recently. Um, let me see here. Oh, I don't know. It's like, Okay, hang on, I gotta put it together. You can get the full effect. It has a whole zipper back to it. Interesting. Okay, okay, I don't know. What is that? So crop top, this reminds me of Daisy from Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> and then it laces with like that country milkmaid look. Um, but it is brand new with tags. So we will look it up. It says it is made of cotton. So I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Is that something that you think would sell with a cute little eyelet pattern in the sleeves? Okay, I don't know. Um, let's see, another pair of paint pants. Uh, Denim Supply, Ralph Lauren. I sure hope that's supposed to be the way the pants are. I think they are. I think they're supposed to be paint splattered. If not, somebody's getting a very unique pair of Ralph Lauren jeans. <laughs> but they are distressed and they do have paint splatters all over them. So either an artist had a hold of these, um, or that's the way they're supposed to be. So I guess I need to look that up, the paint splatter. Let me just look here, supplier. Why do I not see the interior tag? Okay, this is the exterior tag. Denim and supply, I've never heard of this brand from Laugh Lauren, so I need some help guys. So let me know if that is a brand or whether these are faked. It says RL denim on the buttons though, so it must be real. I don't know, okay. Here we go, here is J. Crew um, salvage toothpick jeans. Oh, they are tiny. 23P, look how tiny those are. Who is that tiny? They are so short, they almost look like kids pants, but a size 23P, look at that. <laughs> okay, so update on the paint splatter. My daughter just Googled them, and she said on their website, these are selling for like $200. So apparently the style is to rip your jeans and splatter them with paint, but I'm okay with that if that means there's money in my pocket. Wow, I'm not surprised to a point, um, but hmm, okay. All right, what is this? All right, we've got a pair of leggings, Under Armour. Look at those, they're 
cute with the little design. They're so tiny though. I feel like sometimes these all come out of somebody's closet. Um, I see that every time I think too. I don't see a size on them though. That's a problem. Unless they took the size tag off. That's tiny. Look at that. Almost like kid size. Um, Under Armour still sells for me though. Okay, here is another. Oh, this is a pink tank top. This is um, Victoria's Secrets. It says batter up, party down. <laughs> and it's a New York Yankees tank in the back that says pink. So that's really cute. Never seen anything like that before. Okay. Pink still sells for me too. The graphic tees and all of that, they still sell really well for me. I always get $20, so I don't know about tank tops. All right, this one is in cream. Now my box yesterday, I realized had a lot of anthropology brands in it. And again, we don't have those in our area. And I think the anthropology market got oversaturated a few years ago. So I don't know how well the anthropology brand sells anymore, um, but this may be one of those. It's in cream. I, I don't know. I've never heard of that before, but it's a dress. It's a cute little, it's a different top. So here's the top there. So you have to have the right top half of your body to look good in this. But it's got like these tassels along that and it's really long. Is it pants or is it? Nope, it's a dress. So it's a cute little dress. Um, so I don't know, something to look up. But I think that style is really cute. I do not have the body for that, but somebody does. All right, Calvin Klein dress. Ooh, that's cute. Not my size. It's a purple basic dress. Look at the bottom though, that's really pretty. With the see-through stripes there. It's a cute little A-line dress. I'm sure somebody will buy that. Good condition too. All of these things have been in good condition. Um, yesterday update, um, I did have an anthropology orange dress that I was scared it had stains on it. Came right out with water. So <laughs> I'll be able to list that, which I'm really excited about. Um, okay, so these are Gap Maternity. I think Maternity Anything really sells well, um, especially a branded item. So those are in great condition as well. Maternity is great because you don't wear them that long. <laughs> so there's usually not a lot of wear on maternity items. Let's you pass them down. Ooh, what is this? What in the blazes? This is like a, this is like a neoprene. What is that? I see one tag, no? One small tag that says extra large. What? I have no clue what that is. Okay, so let's go. Let's see what else we've got. Hmm, okay, different again. Imari Organic cotton <laughs> so it's a reverse zebra top so it looks like you have your shirt inside out <laughs> but the zebra's on the inside i think i wouldn't think you'd put the tag on the outside so that's different um never heard of this brand it does look nice though i mean that's the thing that always throws me off um is that it looks like they took time on it organic so it might be worth something so i don't know let me know okay let's see what else this is a cute little dress Arya Fashion Co. Yeah, I don't think that's anything special, but it's tiny. Okay, let's see here. Pants, brown pants. There's no brand in it, so these are just an off-brand brown dress pant. Yeah, no. More pants. All right, these are Chico's. Looks like linen pants, though, so that might help sell those. That's a different style. Probably an older person might wear those. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to offend anybody. Um, but I mean, they're still in good condition, especially for linen. So I like those. All right, the next pair of pants almost look like a seersucker material. Cartonier Charlie Trouser. Cartonier. Car I don't know. Really cute. I mean, they're a capri style. But see how they're like almost a seersucker material, but it's not? Maybe like linen. And there's a zipper on the side, but I just saw a hole. But I might be able to mend that. They aren't new with tags or anything. So if I can mend that up, um, I do think if they're a decent brand, I'll look at that first before I mend them. Um, but they might be cute. All right, another pair of cool jeans. This person really liked distressed jeans. Joe's. Joe's B. Joe's jeans. I do not know, but they look decorative. So that's why I'm hopeful on these two. So we've got the front, which is kind of normal, but it's like a bell bottom, but look at the backs. Look at those. And they've got rhinestones in them and like a floral pattern behind it. So those are cute. And then the pocket there has a detail in it too. I don't know, is that bell bottom coming back in style, I guess? So I'm hoping that that's a good brand. All right, let's see. Ooh, look at these crazy pants. What are these? Oh, I don't know what those are either. Those are like a 
Metallic. What is that? Help me. Help me, I don't know what that is. It's not Lululemon, that's what I was looking for for a second, but it's, oh gosh, I hope I can get the reflection right in the screen. There you go. Can you see that? What are those? I don't see a tag or anything, but to have something like that on there makes me think that they're a good brand. Hey, I really hope you guys can help me identify that because I have no earthly clue what that brand is. All right, need the viewer's help. <laughs> okay, so I see a really big jacket in the next bundle. Let's see if I can get this pulled out. Oh, goodness. Okay, Zara Woman, woohoo, nice jacket. Oh, whoa, look how pretty that is. Oh, that's nice, look at that. I am super happy with this box. That is super nice, nice, nice wool jacket. Um, just need to check all the zippers and the buckles. Look, even has the belt with it. That's cute. That will pay for the box probably. All right, ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, this is kind of my style, but I can't figure out how to, maybe not if I can't figure out what it is. Emery Park, okay, I've never heard that. But this looks like a sheer overlay, like a sheer, um, what do you call these things? Uh, like a cardigan, but it's in a sheer material, but that's really pretty. Okay, keep moving here so we can get through the box, right? All right, looks like some faux leather something. What is this? A faux leather with no brand. Reversible jacket. Let's see if there's a tag in one of the pockets since it's reversible. This does not look nice at all. <laughs> okay, we'll look at that later. All right. Let's see here. We've got L.L. Bean Signature. I still really like L.L. Bean. It sells well for me. This is a cute little um, denim-like khaki dress. Um, in a size 14, which is my size. It's kind of motherly though looking, I think, um, but I still think that that's a nice seller. Okay, ooh, another long dress. What is this by? Oh, Theory. Oh, okay. So that's really pretty. Look how pretty the front of that is. I've never sold Theory myself, um, but I think I have heard that it's a good brand. And this is cute with these tassels and the bunch in the front. But it's a very long, it does have a slit along the side there. Ooh, it's a little dirty, but we can clean that up. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, I found the bottoms with a tag to that top, wherever that is in my pile. Okay, here's the top, here's the bottoms. What are these? They're brand new, lip top, uh, lip, <laughs> lip top top. What is that? <laughs> these are lose weight, keep fit, <laughs> Match, match, comfortable. What in the world? Certificate of inspection. Hot sweat body shaper. <laughs> you don't have that. It's brand new. Oh my gosh. 70% new. <laughs> I didn't know this even existed. <laughs> that just made the box right there. Okay, we're going to be getting some research done on that cool outfit. I'm gonna have to try it on for you guys. <laughs> All right, let's get back to work. Oh, okay. All right, Banana Republic. Oh, this is cute. Banana Republic sells well for me still. That's a cute little, oh, that's even cuter when I pulled it back. Look at that cool bow at the top. Oh, I wish it would fit me. That is not my size. Maybe I can squeeze into it. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, Um, let's see here. Probably better that it's not my size. That means I have to sell it. Okay, <laughs> this is ALC. Never heard of that. All right, but this is like a, is that a dress? Yeah, so it is a dress and it's got these weird sleeves at the top. Like it wants to be a spaghetti strap cold shoulder, but it's not. Um, don't know what, that is. Okay. Uh, what is this? You know, I might have a jacket similar to this. But I don't see the tag in it though. Hmm. It is actually really cute and designer though. Like it has this really pretty um, ribbon detail along the edges. I just need to find a tell. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. White House Black Market. Very nice. I love White House Black Market. <laughs> and it's in really good condition. Let me show you the back. So it's kind of like a um, rain pon not poncho, trench coat style, but so much more feminine. Like it has that cute little ribbon detail. Um, I don't know, is it supposed to have a belt? So it's missing the belt. 
So I'm hoping maybe I'll find that in here, but even without the belt, I've sold jackets like this similarly, so I think that that's great. Um, some more jeans. Let's see what these are. BDG, BDG denim, denim. Yeah, these don't look so fancy, but that's what they look like. Distressed again, tiny person. Um, what is this? Rain jacket, oh, a Nike rain jacket. That's really cute, and that's not gonna last long in this box because my daughter's gonna take it. I just know she is. That's really cute. It's like a light blue with this cool little design. Hoodie, this is cute. <laughs> she's doing a dance now on the stairs because she's getting mad, I'm sure. All right, I do have to make some money. Ooh, a pair of leggings, what are these? So, oh, nope, Gap Fit. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Extra small. That might, that might fit her too, that's cute, okay. Get fit probably won't sell too well. If it was athletic, a whole different story. Oh, another new with tags. So this is Banana Republic. Yay, cute little dress. Um, floral design, not really my style. That's not what matters. <laughs> but it does have this flowy sleeve here, like a flowy short sleeves. But that's really cute. Um, size 10, tall, so that's a good size. Uh, let's see here. Another pair of jeans, J. Crew. These look like factory, but still. These are size 27. Those are nice. And then they've got the cuff at the bottom, but I have a feeling they rolled it themselves. Yeah, so that can be unrolled or rolled up. Um, but those are super nice. Let me show you what that looks like. So if it has the dots, it's factory. All right. Ooh, cute. Reebok leggings. Ooh, I like that. These are size small. Those are crazy. Look at those. But they're in really good condition. These are cute. All right, starting to see the bottom, woohoo! All right, so this is a New Directions dress. Yeah, never heard of that. Not sure about that, but it is a very unique, so if this sells, it will sell based on style. So it's a really pretty collar here with the ruffle around it, and the material is really nice. It's almost like an upholstery material, but it's cotton. Um, but that's what it reminds me of. It's like somebody's curtains. <laughs> Sound of music, she made curtains <laughs> into the dresses. Okay, um, velvet. What do we got? That's a velvet here. Again, it's made in the US though, so that's nice. But it's got cold shoulders. That, I don't think that's very stylish. That's going over there. Okay. And then something else from Nike, but I'm not quite sure what. Looks like another rain jacket, but it is super thin. Medium. What is that? I, that's so thin. Like, paper thin, but I guess it's some, maybe it's more for running, you know, if you want just a, the rain cover and it's warm outside is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, it's more of a rain jacket, athletic rain jacket. It's got some numbers along there, but I mean, it's in good condition though, so it's still really cute. All right, last bundle. Let's see here, guys. We've got, okay, let's see, what do we got, what do we got? Side stitches. Don't know about that one, but it is really cute. It's a top, it's a different design. And then it's low in the back. Might try that on myself just to see. Sometimes things surprise you, I've learned lately. <laughs> so you have to try things on. All right, here's a dress by Laundry by Shelly Siegel. I don't know, is that a good brand? It feels like good quality. Maybe, that's a weird style. Might take that back. Okay, so hmm. I think that's the front. And it does have like a um, overlay there, the crochet overlay, but then look at the back. Is that kind of weird? Like it looks like that should be the front, but it's actually the back. Like I might say, hey, turn around, you got the dress on backwards. I don't know, <laughs> it's kind of weird. Okay. So, all right, I don't know this brand either. It's an odd, an odd tag, which makes you think maybe it's a higher end. 9H15 stick, I don't know what this is. Looks like a stamp. What is that? But it is a, um, I was gonna say dolman sleeve, but it's not. So that's an odd sleeve there on the side. It kinda has a split on the side. I don't know, that's different, but it is a turtleneck. Um, it's really soft though, what is this made of? Rayon, mm, okay, must not be too soft. <laughs> okay. Keep moving on. Move on, let's get through the box. Hmm, what is this? Another jacket, or a pullover actually, athletic pullover. Oh, 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 what is this? 
Um, oh, that's cute. It actually has a side zip turtleneck. That is really cute. It's like a black, you guys can see that. Okay, now I've gotta find the brand. I always hope when I have to search for the brand that it's Lululemon, which sounds so silly. What is this? To be that stylish, you would think that it would have some sort of brand on it. All right, if I find the brand before I do the video, then I will post it. Okay. All right, maybe five more things here. Let's see here. SW3 Bespoke? I don't know. What is that? It's a UK company, but it's like a crochet tunic or dress, but it was supposed to have a belt and that is not here. So. All right, let's see, another sweater. Oop, losing stuff here. This looks nice. Cupio. Cupio? I might try that on myself. This is really soft. That's really cute. I like the style of that. Oh, it's super soft. Oh, there's a hole in the front. Okay, that's cute. I'm not gonna keep that. Now, I just talked about Lululemon, and guess what I dropped on the floor? A Lululemon headband. Didn't even know they made this, a sweatband. That's cool, I'll take it. I had Lululemon in the other box, um, so that's really cute. Maybe I can pair that up with it to sell it better. Hmm, I don't know, or keep it for myself when I go running in the winter. Hmm, yep, okay. And then there's some sort of sheer something. Lime and chili, <laughs> lime and chili. <laughs> don't know what that is. That is definitely needs an undershirt, what do you think? All right, then it's got like a patch rose on both sleeves. That's different. Okay, this keeps eyeballing me. Whoa, what is this? What, in the, what is that? It's like, it's heavy. Look at those rose-like designs on there with that ribbon, and there is no tag. So if there was a tag, I am not seeing it. That has some issues on the inside too, but um. The outside still looks good, so I don't know. There might be a buyer out there for that. All right, shorts. Let's see here. Toby? Never heard of that before, but they are super distressed, super short. Shorty shorts. Mm, I don't even see another tag in there, so I don't even know what size those are. All right, let's see here. Give me something good at the end here. Let's see. We've got Hollister. Okay, good. I like Hollister. It's a cute little gray Aztec design tank top there. And then let's see, what's this? We got a black shirt by Style Nanda. Style Nanda, okay. But it's sheer on the top and black on the bottom. That's different. And we got some jeans here. Oh, Levi's, I'm good with that. Levi distressed, like a black wash jean. And then two more things here. We've got a nice Calvin Klein black blazer. That's nice. And last but not least, what do we got? Ann Taylor medium petite, cute little top. So I don't know, I like this. I really do think that I am going to get more than what I paid for all these boxes. I've already listed a few of the higher end things from my box yesterday, so I've already got some watchers on those, so I'm super excited. Hopefully I can get the money back for the box quickly and then the rest will be just profit. So what did you guys think? Is this something that you guys would buy? I don't know. Did you enjoy a video like this? Do you want me to keep doing these types of videos? I would love to hear in the comments below. Also, make sure you like the videos. And as always, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell so that you know when the next videos are coming out. All right, guys, until next time, happy selling.